The man started and ended his life much the same, alone. How did the saying go? You're born alone, you die alone. Which was interesting, because no one really came into this world alone. Presumably, your mother was there when you were born, followed by doctors and nurses and a family member or two, if they could stomach it. Or if a woman went the natural route, a midwife or doula was there to welcome you into the world. While his mother's birthing plan was not known, and no one was in the position to ask her, she had been there, and therefore, he had not been alone. He was not alone in death either, to be fair. He walked to the beach for something. He wasn't sure what he was looking for. A moment of peace, quiet time to watch the sunset, a moment of reflection, time to watch the last rays of orange fall into the water. Whatever the reason, he was there now, perched in the sand watching the cool water lap at his feet. He had always loved the beach. Being close to the water had a calming effect on him, and that was what he needed now. They were lucky. No, not the man. His luck had finally run out. The person behind him was. The person behind the shadows, tucked next to a sand dune, watching and waiting. So far behind him, he hadn't noticed them when he sat down. Finding an empty beach in Honolulu was rare. Tourists were all over the place. But not here. Not now. There was a party at the local hotel, only a six-minute walk from the beach, and all the guests had been invited. What was the party for? Surprisingly, no one knew, and when free liquor and food were at the ready, no one thought to ask. The person behind him wanted a moment alone with the man, and this was their chance. Just a moment, a moment to watch his hand dart up to his neck to watch his body jerk back until the back of his head hit the sand, to watch saliva and mucus bubble up from his mouth. The man's face turned blue and purple. Choking noises bubbled up from his throat. The veins throbbed in his neck. His eyes rolled back in his head. His feet jerked in the water for a long moment. Until nothing. His hands slumped to his side, and then the person knew. He was dead. They should have gone to get help. They should have tried CPR. There was still time. The person slowly moved toward the body. They leaned forward and, with a black towel, wiped the saliva and mucus from his mouth. Satisfied, they turned around and walked away, down the long stretch of beach, while the moon lit the path and the scent of gardenias floated on the breeze a sweet smile kissing their lips.